Today is a subject that I hear every time. It's like weekly somebody asks me about this. What's a chief's blanket? Or do you have a chief's blanket? Or I want to buy a chief's blanket. Well, first of all, let's just get some terms right off the bat. A chief's blanket can be of three types, basically. First, second, and third. The term chief's blanket is really a misnomer because the Navajos really are a clan-based society and they don't really have chiefs. What happened is when the military, the cavalry, came out to the west, they saw great chiefs, people like Chief Joseph, that had wonderful blankets on them, first and second phase Navajo chief's blankets. And this because they were highly sought after. The Navajos would take these blankets and trade with the plains, and they would trade with different people, and they would end up in the most powerful people's hands, often the chiefs, such as Chief Joseph. So the term kind of stuck. If it was one of these one, first, second, or third phase, chief's blankets, it was associated with something of power and importance. We've all probably seen the Antiques Roadshow where we see the first phase chief's blankets. Those are the earliest and generally the most valuable. Great first phase chief's blanket. You're going to look anywhere at the lower end from about 200,000 to the higher end of about 500,000. So these are really rare and, and hard to find. A chief's blanket that's a first phase is very simple. It's blue and brown lines as a general rule. There also is a term called Ute's first phase, which has little bits of red. These are very rare, hard to find. There's probably only a, maybe as many as 100 in existence, and most of them are in museums. The next type of blanket is a second phase cheese blanket, like the one I have right here. Second phase cheese blankets have 12 rectangles. This is the, again, going from first and now, which is 18 about the 1800s to 1840s to second phase, which is 1840s to 1870s. These are the, now have the 12 rectangles. These are also lovely blankets. They can run anywhere from 65000 to a quarter of a million dollars if they're a classic chief's blanket. Again, time makes a big difference. So with the second phase, you now have some that are done after the classic period, and these can become more of a revival period. Finally is the third phase chief's blanket. Third phase chiefs are right, this is one behind me. They have nine diamonds or boxes as a general rule. And these particular blankets are very, uh, range in a variety of prices. A great chief's blanket can sell, third phase chief's blanket can sell upwards to three, four hundred thousand. Generally though, a third phase classic time frame chief's blanket It'll be 150,000. Uh, the difference between a classic blanket and a late classic can be monumental. Late classic is these 1860s to 70s periods. They're still using really early yarns, natural yarns, but some aniline may have started to creep into the to the usage. These blankets, if they're a late classic third phase cheese blanket, can be 15,000 to say 75,000. Now, a blanket like the one behind me is more of a revival period, and the revival period is anywhere from the 1890s to, say, the 1910. These may or may not have been blankets, but they are in the blanket feel. And again, these blankets can be from a couple thousand dollars up to about $12,000, depending on condition, quality, and, of course, types of yarn used. Now, chief's blankets, especially first, second, and third, are still being made today. Copies are being made, and they're very beautiful. And when I say copies, I mean they're revival pieces made by the Navajo themselves. And these can be, you can get a great first phase blanket by a Navajo weaver using good yarns and even natural yarns for $2,500 to $6,000. So when you ask about a, what a chief's blanket, remember there's three basic types. First, which are very simple lines. Second, which 12 diamonds or 12 boxes. Third is the chief's blanket or third phase chief's blanket, which has nine diamonds or sometimes it will use boxes or crosses. These are the three types. Prices depend on what type it is and the age corresponds to what type. It's a progression from first, second to third phase. There is what's called a fourth phase, which is when the third phase elements kind of all become one and they really are almost a stripes with a complex pattern that's become one. They're very attractive. They're generally, again, in that 1865 to 1875 time frame and are similarly priced to a third phase from that time frame. So the next time you ask for a cheese blanket, 
hopefully you'll know what you're talking about.